So one of the most famous discoveries to come out of the deposits around Richmond is in fact Min Mai, a dinosaur. Obviously the animal didn't live here, this is the middle of the ocean. What Min Mai represents is a carcass that washed out to sea possibly after a storm and was buried in the fine mud at the sea floor. As you can see, Min Mai is a fairly small dinosaur, but it's an armoured dinosaur, it's a herbivore. And the fossil that we found is effectively a, a relatively complete skeleton, including gut content. So we know that Min Mai was probably something like a Cretaceous sheep, living along the seashore, eating small twiggy ve uh, vegetation, that sort of thing. And of course, every once in a while, one of them died, and its body finds its way out into the vast inland sea that covered Australia 100 million years ago. Rob, please tell us about finding the specimens. It's fantastic. Ben, um, in 1989, mm -hmm. we were out mustering sheep at the yeah. time, yeah. and uh, we noticed protruding uh, out of the ground this piece, which turns out to be an ankle bone. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thought that it looked a little bit unusual, and we sent it down to the curator of vertebrate paleontology at the yeah. Queensland Museum, a Dr. Yeah. Ralph Mulmer. Yeah. And Ralph got fairly excited by the, what we'd sent him, <laughs> and uh, he turned up back at Marathon in about one week. And from under about what I perceive to be a one foot of soil, mm -hmm. um, we uncovered this amazing specimen. Fantastic. And uh, Ben, we could obviously see um, what appeared to be skin, yeah. which Ralph yeah. told us later that these were in fact skin ossicles yeah. and obviously see with scoots of armour yeah, and yeah, yeah. the heavy armour plating around this thing's neck and yeah. uh, the scoots of armour running back along his body. Ralph at the time also said the significance of the tail, mm. uh, this being a herbivore, yeah. obviously um, had a method of defence mm. and how these scoots were found on the tail itself and yeah. Ralph suggested at that time that this may have been used as a method of defence yeah, by this yeah, yeah. little dinosaur. Fantastic. So um, an absolute amazing fossil find and I uh, feel very fortunate to have found um, what, what's, well, what we are told is possibly one of the most significant ankylosaurs ever found in the world. Spectacular. So basically what you're looking at is the fossil pretty much as it was found. It's a skeleton all laid out. You've got the head and the body, the limbs, but the most amazing part is this incredible armour plate. So basically Minmai was a small herbivorous dinosaur and that its skin was studded with these tiny little nod nodules of bone and these huge plates and spikes probably as a kind of protective armour against predators perhaps, or even maybe like a structural armour plating, something like a crocodile that would have helped its body to move. So this is the original skull, the real bone itself preserved here for 100 million years. Effectively, the specimen we saw in Richmond was a replica, and this is very, very important. Replicas are best used in museum exhibits because basically the originals are so precious, and we can't really have them sitting around where they can be touched and potentially damaged. Effectively, it's a small herbivorous dinosaur, but its skull is something like an armour-plated box with bone up to two centimetres thick. What you're looking at is the orbit, the eye, the nostrils, and the back of the head here, still with some of the armour-plated skin adhering to the actual back of the skull. Underneath, we can see the rows of teeth, which tell us that this animal is a plant eater. As you can see from the skull, it's not very large, and we can estimate that Min Mai is probably around three to four metres long and certainly would have been very easy prey for some of the large carnivores that we find in these deposits.